Hey what's up guys and welcome back to Mr. 3D. Today we are gonna take a look at building tools add-on for Blender. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below for you to download. It's available for free on GitHub and make sure to join my Discord server. Now let's jump straight into this tutorial. Once you have downloaded your add-on, just go to the edit preferences add-on section, click on install add-on from zip file and find that wherever you have saved your add-on. Make sure it's zipped. So in my case, I have saved this add-on in uh, this folder. Make sure it's in zip file, not you don't have to extract this zip file. Just click on it and install add-on. Once it's installed, just type in building tools and it's gonna show up like this building tools mesh make sure it's checked and just save preferences and then what we have to do now is to delete the default cube and now press n on your keyboard and find wherever you have your building tool add-ons in my case i have this right here and now what you have to do is to create a plane floor plane floor and as you can see a little drop down menu right here click on it and you will find different options from here you just have to you know make it its width length or rectangular to circular compositor edge shape or even random so you can just click on seeds and find whatever value you like and you can also you know create presets so you don't have to do all the things over and over again so in my case I'm going to use this preset that I have created earlier like this one once you have this just go into the edit mode and select all the faces go to the face select mode select all the faces and then click on add floors from this little drop down menu you can have uh, floor count, floor height, floor count and slab thickness how thick it's gonna be and offset so in my case I'm just gonna make it like this perfect and two floor counts nice and for the next step we have to do is to select this top face and click on add roof in the building tools add-on now uh, as you can see you have the roof up here and you have different options for the roofs as well so flat roof is gonna be just nothing out up here and then gable is just the one that I have not like quite a lot it's boxed and open and uh, hip so what we have to do is we have to we can make changes to it as well height like so as you can see it's looking very beautiful now and for the next step we have to uh, to create balcony stairs windows doors so we have to select a face right here as you can see i have selected the face and then click on add balcony what it's gonna do is gonna add a little balcony lot of different options right here so we can just offset it a little bit vertical horizontal and we can change the height width depth offset slab height so there's a lot of stuff you can do with it from each of these options you can create presets like this so I already have created my preset so I'm just gonna apply this one and it looks beautiful it has different options you can follow this alone if you want and then finally we can add a door in it like this and for doors you have also different kind of options right here so for width height offset it a little bit or something like that uh, we can do it vertically because it's just fine 
and then we can also have depth frame depth frame thickness door depth as well and door count so we can have two three or multiple in it this is very handy add-on I like this add-on quite a lot I used to create many different kind of houses for my uh, work now we can have double door so it's double now and add arch and then just increase the resolution depth height and you can also you know just create this there's a very different kind of options you can have right here you can have doors panels so I'm just gonna take this like that and and it's perfect and then move it a little bit of right here and then for now we are gonna create a window right in this area so select this face and click on add window it's gonna add a window right here as you can see and we can have uh, different options for the windows as well so we can have width height offset circular rectangular depth frame thickness window depth and a window count so we don't want this to double we just want this like this and then you can also add this top right here and it's same as before fill type glass or whatever you want it's quite handy add-on as you can see it's looking very beautiful now and you can also do the same things all over here to make this even more beautiful so and for the last step I'm just going to show you how to add stairs so for this let's just like this face or this face and then add stairs and as you can see it has beautifully added beautiful stairs and you can also mess up with these settings stair counts let's just add again and you can also make it way cooler you can also change height slip blocked slip I think is good you can also change the landing width everything else density size whatever you want you can do with this add-on this is very handy add-on for you so I hope you like this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to you know texture all this building with its material tools as well so make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification so you won't miss the next videos and that's all for this video i hope you learned something thank you so much for watching see you in the next video